Welcome back to Shark Tank. I'm here with my Mr. Wonderful and Mark Cubing somewhere around here. And uh, what are we doing on this show? A lot of stuff. Oh. Very nice, very evil stuff. All right, well, uh, buy a company and then I'll make a million dollars, I think. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we are about to go to the door that is forbidden. And while we do, let me take this chance to welcome you back to the Smart Tank Revolution, where we always kick out at two. two. We are your hosts. I am the Sultan of Smash, the one and only Joey Business, and I am joined today by the benevolent, intelligent, excellent, and eloquent Big Time Donnie, a.k.a. Donnie Wonderful, a.k.a. America's favorite little brother. And we are indeed, in fact, we have entered the Forbidden Door as we are watching this right now. Live, uncut, unedited, as we always do in our purest form. That's right. And we are deciding, rather than doing a retrospective of it, we are doing a live... Oh, basically, and there's the smart tank yeah, dog. The smart tank mascot, right on time. <laughs> right on time. It's like he knew we were about to record. So, and that's just Brady. He's he's giving us his shout outs. No, no, what he's doing, folks, is I found out something very disturbing before we <laughs> get onto the air tonight. Oh, he's yeah. going off. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's echoing my sentiments exactly. I have found out that our illustrious Donnie Wonderful is a fan of one of the most heinous, heinous, horrible workers and shitty all-around talents in the wrestling Wow. Business. Juice Rock Hard Juice Robinson. As I like to call him, Mr. Orange Juice Robinson. Yes, Juice Robinson is the future we have gone through this several times. No, 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 no. Roman Reigns, you finally, you you finally drunk the Kool Aid. MJF, you finally drunk the Kool Aid. You too, Brady. Uh, you're still, you're still not on board with the Baron Corbin yet, but you will be. <laughs> you're still, you're, I think Baron Corbin's world's better than Juice Robinson. Though, I'll you're, tell you that. You're, you're still not on board with Wardlow, but you will be. No, never, never, never. <laughs> Jesus, if my choices that's like between Biden and Trump. I'm just going to stare blankly at the screen for an hour. That is just brutal. I mean, good God. Juice it, Robinson, you explain one. Listen, Joey Janelle is better than Juice Robinson. That is blasphemy. It is not. That I'm is, like, that is blasphemy. Is Juice Robinson is an annoying twit. Like... And and for the record, I actually was a fan of the bad boy Joey Janela. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think, I didn't think he was as bad as people made him out to be. But I'm telling you, Juice, rock hard. I'm just gonna leave it at that. No pause. Just real bad. <laughs> well, right now, just to let you know, there have been a few matches on Forbidden Door. Uh, we opened up the Long Island Zone MJF. Shot right there. Facing everyone's, uh, you know, reviled <laughs> magician, luchador, Hechicero, Hechicero, who I honestly didn't really know anything of until tonight. But what were your thoughts on the match? The match was good. The match was, well, it was a vanity project for MJF. MJF looked stellar. He, they, he got in some crazy spots. Was just, but that was your first time seeing him, right? Seeing him wrestle. You didn't see the Roosh match, did you? I watched the Roosh match, and that was good, but this was a much better outing for him. It, like, much more complete. He looked good. I also dig the fact that he's using the Brain Buster as his Yes, signature. yes. I really like it. So, match at match number two, since his comeback. He looks great. Uh, he looks great. He I agree. absolutely great. I told you. I told you this, like, a week or two ago, that MJF should be the main event at Wembley. Yeah, yeah. So for our listeners and lo and loyal supporters, thank you guys. And by the way, please like the video. We don't do this for our health or 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 dislike. It's your right. And yes, comment and subscribe. Tell us your oracle. This is why we call you Oracle Joe. Tell us your oracle booking for Wembley that involves MJF. Well, tonight <laughs> I can guarantee everybody, and it's not really anything of a hot take. But Swerve is going to still continue to swerve while he drives because MJF's going to totally ruin uh, Rob's night. is not going to go down in uh, 
history. And I'll be honest with you, I wasn't a big fan. I, I do love Will Ospreay. I'm a big fan of Will Ospreay. But I don't like when talents get pushed crazy fast. It always leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Unless it's certain people. And it's been very rare. Like, I wouldn't be a fan if Braun Breaker gets pushed to the moon. And that was a nice pin by Tony Storm. Mm. I would not be a fan of Braun Breaker. Look at Mariah May. She looks as conflicted as Miss Elizabeth. She's channeling all her minutes. Spoiler alert. Tony Storm just retained at Forbidden Door. But please proceed. She needs to retain it for Door because Mariah May needs to take the title from her in Wembley. Or Jamie Hayter. I'll take either one. But the thing is, um, yeah, no, I don't like when, when talents are pushed to the moon immediately. And Will Ospreay to win the AEW title in conjunction, in combination with the, um, what is it called, the international yep. title? Yep. This quick would be such a mistake. Mm -hmm. It really would. Because, first of all, Swerve is one of the unique things that AEW has that WWE doesn't have right now. And I think they should capitalize with Swerve. I think they should give him a more of a run. However, I would have booked MJF versus Swerve at Wembley. I really would have. Because MJF needs to be in that main event. There's a lot of meat on the bone, like you said. You know, both MJF and Swerve are good, are, are um, all good friends. So, a lot of meat on that bone. I just think we're going to get Osprey versus MJF. It will not be the main event, though. Tony Khan doesn't main event titles. I mean, matches without titles. Okay, so no, no technically, uh, if the international title would be up for grabs, then it would be a title match. In essence, in so theory. You would, do it, you would do it like SummerSlam 92 type thing? I mean, not a SummerSlam 92. No, no, you're right. SummerSlam 92. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you would do it like that? Um, here comes the beatdown on Tony Storm. I, here comes Jamie Hayter. No, I'm just playing. Um, but no, I, I no, I, I, I wouldn't main, I wouldn't main event uh, Will Ospreay and MJF as much as as hot as that 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 would be. I, I don't think you should trump the uh, uh, the, world the world title, and I think uh, the Owen Hart tournament. Yeah, that Jeff Hart, that that Jeff Jarrett should win today. <laughs> Listen, I love Double J myself. Slap nuts. I was a big fan. Slap nuts. But Brian Danielson, this is his last hurrah. I think he needs to be able to. Um, I think he needs to be able to have a. Are we gonna get some hot lesbian action? We might. The HLA? triple kiss. We getting some HLA. <laughs> HLA on A E Dub. All right. You know what? It's like Bi Eric Bischoff. Bitch Bischoff. It's like, yeah, look at Nile. Nigel's crying. <laughs> I love it. Nile, Nigel, I keep saying Niles. Nigel McGinnis is this a is. treasure. This alone makes makes me uh, anticipate Tony Storm's inevitable sure inevitable press a media scrum appearance okay, tonight. We'll watch that later. If we can even get a question in before she 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 leaves. And I don't mean like a fan of the show. I mean like a, a general fan fanning my show. 